there's been a lot of very successful artists who don't use paint, you know, don't use brushes, don't carve marble. Bloggers from all over the world are, are picking up on this. Who'd have thought people wanted to look at dirty pictures on the internet? I'm Scott Wade, the Dirty Car Artist. You know, I've always been into art. Uh, my father was kind of a good amateur cartoonist. My grandmother painted, and I, uh, I just sort of picked it up from them and, you know, was uh, always inspired to try new mediums, try new things. I found, uh, you know, I li lived on a long dirt road and my cars were always dirty. So I'd have to go out and kind of mess around on the car with my finger. So I'd go out and I'd, you know, doodle with my finger and do funny faces or whatever. And one day I was chewing on a popsicle stick after I'd finished my popsicle and it gets real feathery, you know, and uh, kind of like a brush. And so I pulled it out of my mouth and I looked at it and I thought, hmm, I wonder what that would do on the car. So. You know, I started messing around with it. I thought, man, this is really cool. So I went into my studio, got some paint brushes and came back out and just started messing around with it. And that's kind of how I developed the techniques that I'm using today. For the first several years, actually, uh, all the work that I did was on what I call a natural canvas because I was driving up and down a long dirt road to and from work every day and having that rear window covered in dust. So I had to develop a way to dirty the car up artificially, which is what I call the artificial canvas. And what I found was that by putting a thin coating of oil, just any kind of vegetable oil or nut oil, onto the glass, that will uh, hold the dust in place so that I can do the work. Yeah, some of my favorite work that I do is centered around nature. I mean, I don't, it's not everything that I do, but a lot of it is. And, and we live in a nice natural environment with a lot of, uh, a lot of physical beauty. And I feel like that's an integral part of me as an artist, an integral part of what I do as an artist. And, um, you know, I have the space here to have a studio. I can do sculpture, I can do painting, I'm a GUI designer as, as a day job. Seems to me like it all sort of integrates. So I'm also a musician and I think that also informs what I do. Yeah, Wimberley, Texas is, a, is, is an artistic place. There's a lot of active artists here. There are a lot of retired musicians and artists who've chosen Wimberley as a place to live. It's a, it's a mellow little town, it's kind of a resort town, it has some energy to it. You know, I would say, if you see a dirty car, you should go up and make some art on it. Uh, make sure the person who owns the car isn't around, but yeah, or ask your mom, I don't know. It's, uh, it's fun to experiment and to just see the whole world as a potential art piece.